Hey y'all, how's it going? It's Alistair from Koyeb, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a simple Rust application on the platform. If you don't know about Koyeb, we're providing developers the fastest way to deploy applications globally. The platform comes in with a bunch of cool built-in features like auto-scaling, auto-healing, global load balancing across our edge network of 255 locations, and so much more. Previously, we've showed you how to deploy on the platform using our Git-driven deployment. Today, I want to show you how to deploy on the platform using a pre-built Docker image. Uh, to follow this, guys, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need Docker already installed on your machine. Uh, you're going to need a GitHub account because we're going to be pushing to GitHub container registry. You're going to need to have configured Docker for use with GitHub packages, and uh, you'll need a Koyab account. Uh, I already built my app, so here it is. Uh, here's my cargo TML, this main file, this Docker file. We're using a multi-stage Docker file, so that way we're keeping our image layers as thin as possible. Here we're going to be installing our dependencies, and then here we're going to be creating the binary for our app. And so here I'm just going to build this image. Dash T, you know, container registry .io, my username, and then my app's name. And as we know, Docker builds can take some time, so I'll see you on the other side of this. All right, so now that my image is finished building, I'm ready to push it to my container registry, like so. And then once it's on my container registry, I'll be ready to deploy it on Koyeb. So first I push, and then to deploy on Koyeb, all I need to do is write Koyeb app init, give it a name, and then throw the Docker arg with my Docker image, which is here and then I specify what port to be listening to it's at 8000 HTTP and then uh, the root which is here um, public and then uh, since I'm pushing from a private registry, I need to pass a secret with my private registry credentials. I have already built mine, but you can also build one using the CLI. And so docker private registry secret, and then my secret is called github registry. And then I see what I did wrong. I wrote routers. I will quickly change that to routes. And now my app is being deployed for me by Koyeb. Once it's finished building, I will be able to access it on a public URL. Koyeb S list shows me the status of my services. If we head over to the control panel, we'll see that my app is starting. And then I can access the service here. Uh, once it's ready, I'll be able to access it on this public URL. I'll be able to see its metrics and runtime logs back in the terminal. Back in Visual Studio Code, I can see the same status here by typing Koyeb S list. S is for services. I'll link down below our CLI guide. So that way you can learn about all the cool ways you can be using the Koyeb CLI. All right, so now my service is live and healthy, which means that I can access it using this public URL. And then we see my simple Hello World app is now running live on Koyeb. And that's it. Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see next. And until next time, take care.